In this pod, we're going to talk about fitness and sport. You could be asked, ¿Practicas algún deporte? Do you play any sports? There are a lot of words relating to sport, so we can't list them all here. However, we'll get you started with some vocabulary. El fútbol, meaning football. El tenis, meaning tennis. El rugby, meaning rugby. La pelota, meaning ball. El badminton, meaning badminton. El baloncesto, meaning basketball. La natación, meaning swimming. La piscina, meaning swimming pool. El estadio, meaning stadium. El polideportivo, meaning sports center. La pista, meaning track, court, or slope. There are also verbs you should know, such as... Jugar al fútbol, meaning to play football. Correr, meaning to run. Bailar, meaning to dance. Nadar, meaning to swim. Montar en bici, meaning to ride a bike. If you're asked about sport on TV, el deporte en la tele, you need to be able to draw upon words relating to this. For this reason, we have one more batch of vocabulary to learn. El partido, meaning match. La carrera, meaning race. Ganar, meaning to win. Perder, meaning to lose. El equipo, meaning team. El jugador, meaning player. Marcar un gol, meaning to score a goal. La copa, meaning trophy or cup. And finally, los Juegos Olímpicos, meaning the Olympic Games. Take a little time to digest the vocabulary you've been given. If you need to make notes, do so. Once you're ready, listen to Mateo, who is going to talk about his fitness regime and his attitude towards sports. Creo que es muy importante hacer deporte. En mi opinión, se debe hacer ejercicio al menos cuatro veces a la semana. Es la mejor manera de mantenerse en forma. Now, let's work through some questions together. Does Mateo think that sport is important? Creo que es muy importante hacer deporte. The answer is yes. He says, I think that doing sport is very important. Note that the verb for to do and to make in Spanish is hacer. Watch out, as it's an irregular verb. It doesn't follow a pattern when it changes. The first person phrase, I do, is written as hago. Now, how often does Mateo say that people should do exercise? En mi opinión, se debe hacer ejercicio al menos cuatro veces a la semana. Es la mejor manera de mantenerse en forma. Did you answer with four times a week? If so, you're correct. Mateo says, In my opinion, you should do exercise at least four times a week. It's the best way to stay in shape. Note that cuatro veces a la semana four times a week, is an example of an adverb of frequency. These make you sound fluent and will boost your marks. A menudo, meaning often, and raramente, meaning rarely, are also examples. Mantenerse is a cognate, which means it looks and is linguistically similar to the English word maintain. Now, let's listen to some more of what Mateo says about sport. A mí me encanta el deporte. Practico el baloncesto todos los días después del colegio. Soy miembro de un equipo desde hace dos años. Ayer jugué al fútbol también porque hay un club de fútbol en mi colegio. Los viernes hago natación con mi hermana. Did you understand all of that? Take a moment to think about the words and replay the speech if you need to. Now, let's look at answering some questions together. First, how often does Mateo play basketball? Practico el baloncesto todos los días, después del colegio. Mateo says, I play basketball every day after school. Note that todos los días is another example of an adverb of frequency. Now, did you notice how Mateo said he has been a member of a team for two years? Soy miembro de un equipo desde hace dos años. This translates as, I have been a member of a team for two years. However, the grammar is totally different to English. In order to say you have been doing something for an amount of time, you need to use the present tense and the words desde hace, followed by a time element like a year. For example, I have been playing tennis for two months is Juego al tenis desde hace dos meses. The first person present tense of jugar, which is juego, has been used. Now, let's get back to the questions. What did Mateo do yesterday? Ayer jugué al fútbol también porque hay un club de fútbol en mi colegio. Mateo says, 
Yesterday, I played football as well, because there is a football club at my school. You can also talk about sport that you've seen on the television. Listen to Sofia as she discusses her favorite sport on TV. Me encanta el tenis. Suelo ver el tenis los viernes y me encantaría visitar un estadio. Me imagino que sería muy emocionante. Did you catch that? She said. I love tennis. I usually watch tennis on Fridays and I would love to visit a stadium. I imagine it would be very exciting. Note that Sofia has used the verb soler plus the infinitive to say what she usually does. It's a radical changing verb and its stem changes from o to ue. Thus, we have suelo ver el tenis. We leave it there for now. Though feel free to practice making your own phrases. Buena suerte!